A320, Mentor Channel. Thanks for watching. The Communication, Navigation, Surveillance and Air Traffic Management CNS ATM, is a global concept defined by ICAO to cover the way the airspace will be used in the years to come. CNS ATM general objectives are to increase airspace capacity to cope with air traffic growth, to enhance operational flexibility, to enable improved air traffic control, to allow continued safety of air traffic. These objectives mainly rely on data link and satellite communication technologies. The Future Air Navigation Systems FANS, program has been designed to answer the CNS ATM concept. It allows a step-by-step -step transition towards the ultimate FANS world through modular and flexible avionics upgrade. This course addresses the first step of this evolution, known as pre-FANS. The pre-FANS includes two main functions. The Airline Operation Center, AOC, and the Air Ground Communication. The AOC function provides the crew with ACARS equivalent functionalities and more, as for instance, NOTAM, weather, winds aloft requests, free text message exchanges, diversion, delay, refueling flight reports, aircraft data from CMS, cabin terminal, etc. Standard AOC functionalities are basically provided, but, like for the ACARS, airlines can customize these functions and the way they are accessed by the crew. On the ground, the different existing networks dispatch the messages by integrating the various communication media – satellites, antennas, computers, etc. These networks are operated by private companies such as ARINC, CETA, and others. These companies are known as service providers. As the airlines may choose one or more service providers for their intended operations, the various networks are interconnected and able to dispatch routing function their customer messages to the different aeronautical ground facilities. To use these ground networks, the aircraft has to be recognized by them. This means that a communication has to be initialized by the crew between the aircraft and the airline service provider. This point will be seen in detail in the normal operation module. Note if the communication initialization is wrongly performed, the messages can simply be rejected. To ensure data communications, modifications have been carried out. The VHF-3 and SATCOM data link capabilities have been upgraded. The upgraded VHF-3 is now called VHF Data Link Radio 3, VDR-3. The SATCOM remains optional. The Air Traffic Services Unit, ATSU, has been implemented. The ATSU is the new computer supporting pre-fans. It takes over all ACARS functions and handles voice communications on VDR3 and all data communications. What are the benefits of the pre-fans? Worldwide available data link reduces communication errors and channel congestion. Communication improvement. Messages in digital form are downlinked to airline ground handling station for automatic data processing. 
large quantities of data collected. Operational flexibility is increased. Service provider choice is provided to the airlines. Tomorrow, high traffic density will require a more advanced technology than pre-fans. Today, Fans A is on its way while in the future a new fan system will be developed, Fans B. Fans A incorporates all the pre-fans functions and introduces extensive use of data link communications between pilots and air traffic controllers. This possibility is called CPDLC, Controller Pilot Data Link Communications. FANS B is a more capable FANS A, which will be essentially based on the ATN Aeronautical Telecommunication Network, a new, highly capable communication network. GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite System, an extended satellite navigation system providing enhanced accuracy and reliability. The TCAS and Data Communication Systems will also be upgraded. The pre-FANS architecture has been developed for FANS B. This is why only software upgrades will be needed to jump from pre-FANS and FANS A interim steps to ICAO approved FANS B. Let's now study the pilot interfaces. The crew interfaces include the MCDUs and the onboard printer. AOC and communication menu pages can be accessed via both MCDUs. Note the new ATC COM key is a provision for the future FANS A and B. Messages related to the pre-FANS are displayed on the engine and warning display. Note, the wording ACARS is still retained in the different messages, even if now it refers to the ATSU. In fact, reference is made to the ACARS functionality. In the same way, VHF3 is used for VDR3. Let's now learn a little bit more about the pre-FANS system architecture and the ATSU itself. The ATSU manages the air ground communications through the appropriate communication media VDR3 or SATCOM optional. The selection of the most appropriate media is automatically performed without any pilot action. Outside VHF coverage, the switching to the SATCOM, if installed, is automatically managed by the ATSU. The display of the information to the crew. The ATSU respects the flight phase inhibition philosophy. The messages are only displayed during the authorized flight phases. The exchange of information between the aircraft systems CMS, ACMS, FMS, etc. and the AOC function embedded in the ATSU. In the next module we will have a closer look at the AOC function. A320, Mentor Channel.